To be in with a chance of winning my weekly Destiny 2 Better Call giveaway, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today I'll give you guys my recommendations of what you can spend your legendary marks on come the 9th of May 2017 as we all know now on a weekly reset uh, weapons across the board and armors come with a fresh stat and perk roll. Now last week we had three perfect roll weapons. We had the Angel's Advocate, the Parthian Shot and the Palindrome. Uh, this week we're going to start with the Crucible Quartermaster and let's see what he has. And to be honest, there isn't much here. We've got um, an OK roll hero formula. We've got on this, we've got Outlaw, Bridge Frame and Third Eye. But to be honest, I've got the perfect rolled hero formula already and I don't think it's that great. The Palindrome this week isn't a touch on last week's one. We've got on it Mulligan or Spray and Play, Rifled or High Calibre and Third Eye. But... Last week's one people was the best you're going to get. And if you missed out on that, you really have missed out. Um, shotgun this week, the curtain call isn't too bad. If you're desperate for a shotgun, this isn't too bad. We've got in the final round. We've got reinforced uh, performance bonus or knee pads. Uh, no range finder, but still, like I said, if you're desperate for a shotgun, it isn't the worst, but it's nowhere near the best. The sniper rifle this week as well is okay actually if you need a PvE sniper because this is a real high impact sniper. We've got on it Firefly, Casket Mag or Explosive Rounds with Mulligan or Underdog. Not great sculpts but like I said the Hulk I SLR 15 is decent for PvE. Um, not PvP though, none of these sculpts would do you any good right here. Um, and that's it people for the Crucible Quartermaster, there's nothing great here to be honest. Uh, what we'll do now is I'm going to head over to the Vanguard Quartermaster and I'll resume the video when I get there. Okay people, so we're at the Vanguard Quartermaster and surprisingly there are actually a couple of great rolled weapons right here. Um, and we're going to start with the Continental. Now this in my opinion is an amazing auto rifle. Well, well, well underrated. Not many people even speak about this, but it is a decent weapon. On it, we've got um, Red Dot ORA, we've got the Steady Hand IS, and we've got the OEG Rifle Scope. But we have Hip Fire or Battle Runner, we've Hand Laid Stock or Feather Mag, and Counter Balance. Now, in my opinion, I actually have this weapon. And it only needs counterbalance. I mean, hand laid stock is a great stability perk as well, but it does affect the range. And we all know auto rifles don't have the greatest range as standard. Uh, hand laid stock with counterbalance, if you ain't worried about range, will be like a laser beam. It really will. But me personally, I'd use counterbalance. Um, probably go with feather mag just for that faster reload. Uh, if you are worried about range with probably hip fire or battle runner, it's up to you. But it isn't an amazing road continental, but it is far from the worst. And it's actually a decent auto rifle if you guys are looking for one. Um, we also have an amazing Parthian shot. Again, last week we had probably one of the best you can get. This week isn't too bad either. We've got counterbalance. We've got handmade stock too amazing stability perks and we also have outlaw if you hit a headshot instant reload basically uh, well not instant reload but you know you just reload it so quick it's unbelievable and we also have take any which i spoke about last week on my review of this weapon now this actually suits this weapon because it's a mid to long range weapon so if you're crouching um you get increased uh accuracy stability and reduced aim time so yeah why not just crouch mid to long range and pick people off I mean this is a two burst headshot kill if you can land two bursts to the head it is relatively lucky but they will go down but outlaw is just as good like I said so yeah definitely worth well probably the best role we've come across this week so far it's a definite pickup in my opinion uh, path in shot uh, also we have which is the how dare you now I ain't a big fan of this archetype of uh, hand cannons because I just think they're pointless. When you've got things like the palindrome, the Ayas Luna and the whale and things like that, 
These are just pointless, but it has got a decent roll. We've got an range finder, rifled barrel, mulligan, or partial refund with uh, true sight, um, fast draw, and quick draw. So, yeah, two range perks, not bad at all. And as we all know, hand cannons in this game, they need range now because the damage fall off on these things is just ridiculous. It really is. Other than that, there isn't much else right here. I mean, the Bone Crusher isn't too bad, but how many machine guns do you actually need? We've got Crowd Control, Small Ball, or Quick Draw. We've got Unflinching or Underdog. Um, so, yeah, it's not bad if you need a machine gun, but probably um, not a definite pickup. This uh, assembly required isn't too bad either. Shame it hasn't got tripod, but we've got any cluster bomb, snapshot or heavy payload. We've got any vacuum or life support with warhead veneers. We've got linear compensator and cant and mass. Now, yeah, like I said, shame it ain't got tripod, but still it isn't too bad. And that's it for the Vanguard Quartermaster. What I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to head over to Dead Orbit and see what he has. Okay, so Dead Orbit. Nothing great this week, to be honest. I mean, if you're after a decent PvE weapon, the Keystone won't do you too bad. I mean, I'm waiting for a stability roll of this so I can use it for PvP. But on this week's, we have Firefly, Small Ball or Unflinching with Extended Mag or Quick Draw. We've got the Red Dot ORA, we've got the Ranged Lens RLR5, and we've got the OEG. Uh, now, like I said, PvE, this won't do you too bad with Extended Mag, Unflinching and Firefly. But like I said, I am waiting for a decent PvP roll and that in my opinion is just not it. Um, other than that, to be honest, there's nothing incredible here. I mean, the Sniper Rifle with a bit of edge isn't too bad, but like a, it's a low impact high rate of fire but we have only the ambush site we've got snapshot we've got hammer forged or life support with unflinching so not a bad roll quite decent actually but it is a low impact and other than that people there's nothing else that good right here i mean the extreme file you want a stability roll on that which it hasn't got this week um and that is it now what i'm going to do now guys is i'm going to head to future walkout and resume the video when i get there Okay, people, so we are at Virtual Warcon. Look at this damn helmet this Titan's wearing. Jesus. Um, looks like a bloody light bulb. Now, again, this week, um, we've got more weapons here for PvE than we have for PvP. Um, and one of them being this wounded right here. Now, this actually can make a decent PvP weapon if you get the right roll, but this is not that in my opinion we've got any crowd control triple tap or hammer forge with i suppose you could use snapshot hammer forge and crowd control for pvp i mean it wouldn't be the worst actually half decent but you can get better and i'd probably be patient for one if you do want one for pvp but like i said if you're desperate why not but also we have an explosive round triple tap and crowd control which would also make a decent pve road scout rifle so yeah not bad at all and what else do we have here? I don't think there's anything that great. I mean, this Warpath is pretty good. We've got an it Cluster Bomb. We've got an it Javelin or Battle Runner. We've Field Scout or Snapshot. We've Aggressive Launch. We've got an it Linear Compensator and Counter Mass. Shame it hasn't got Tripod as Field Scout, Tripod and Cluster Bomb would be the perfect role. Uh, one of these for PvE. Um, this hasn't got that unfortunately, but still it's actually quite good. We still have a field scout which increases ammo capacity and we also have cluster bomb as well. So not too bad at all. Maybe worth your time checking out. Other than that people, there's um, not much else here. I mean, we all know about the Wormwood. This thing is absolutely on in PvP at the minute. We've got any quick draw, we've got any sure shot. Probably the best site you can get, and True Sight. Well, these two are the best. People argue amongst themselves about which one's better, but I'd probably go with Sure Shot. Uh, we've got on this high caliber rounds or Snapshot. We've got Cascade or Fitted Stock with Rangefinder. So, quite a decent roll, to be honest, in that Wormwood. If you are looking for a sidearm for PvP, not that I recommend it because I think they're overrun, or PvP is definitely overrun with sidearms at the moment, and the left's the better, in my opinion. But other than that, people, there's nothing else that great right here. So, what we're going to now guys is I'm going to skip to new monarchy and catch you when I get there.
Okay, people, so we are at New Monarchy, and to be honest, there's nothing here worth you spending your marks on. Not in my opinion, anyway. I mean, if you're after a range road assembly too, which no stability at all, if you like shooting a sky, we've got on this hammer for uh, range finder, sorry, hammer forge, crowd control, uh, high caliber rounds, quick draw. I mean, literally, this thing will be you'll pull the trigger and you're going straight up. I mean, you ain't controlling this thing, it's ridiculous. It does need stability, it really does. So yeah, but this is nothing here people, nothing at all in my opinion worth you spending your marks on and unfortunately that is it for another video guys. Um, what did we have this week? We had a decent road path in shot, the Continental went too bad, the Warpath from Future Warcourt went too bad either, um, the Wounded from Future Warcourt if you're after a decent scout, but other than that people, uh, not the best week at all. Uh, but guys hope you enjoyed the video do smash that like button i do appreciate the support remember leave a comment down below to be in with a chance of winning my weekly destiny 2 better card giveaway and as always guys i will see you on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we stand but you and i Get it right